Hello everybody. We are gonna talk about some corn today. Cause corn is what makes America beautiful. Yes sir. Son, little fact about corn you may not know. Pound for pound, corn is worth more than a stack of dollar bills. True. Also true, corn is worth than a bushel of tomatoes. You may talk about recycling, going green, let me ask you this, what in God's green earth is greener than a field full of corn? Exactly. What color is corn? It is gold or platinum white. Let me tell you something, son. This country was founded on corn. You got your corn syrup. You got your corn dogs. You got corn oil, corn tortillas, corn chips, popcorn, cream corn. You name it, corn does it. You need to do one thing, son. You need to keep this country going strong. Because corn needs what? Subsidies. That's right. Get your congressman or representative on the line and you tell them, get me some subsidies for this corn so we can have corn oil, mazola, whatever you want, son. You got to eat that corn. Eat that corn, even though it's not digestible, you need to eat it. Now what I'm about to talk about now, some may find disturbing. So if you deal in that devilish plant of a soybean, you best just turn this right now. Did you know that the soybean may have faked its own death just to ensure that we genetically modify it so it continues on as clones? True story. Unlike the noble corn who grows each kernel one by one, therefore ensuring its own survival without need for ammonia and nitrate and all them other chemicals that every other plant in the United Plant Kingdom deserves. But not corn. Corn is a noble plant. Corn is America's only super fruit. Yeah, I said fruit. You've never had sweet corn? Think about it. Corn subsidies? Reminds me of a story I read on them interwebs. It tells a story about these corns. They went into a bar, local establishment. They go in there and that bartender, he says, we don't serve your kind in here. Well, that corn had something up his sleeve. For he pulled out a 44 Magnum and shot that bartender right in the chest. In them dying words that bartender said, and I'm going to quote here, he says, I guess I should have thought about the implications of entering into a vegetably motivated conflict with a piece of enlightened corn that also had the documentation and brass cojones to shoot said weapon. Well, with that being said, that corn reached back, put two more slugs right in that bartender's head. He was just a laying there. Some may say, do you have a punchline with that joke? I say no, but I tell all the children I tell that to, do not mess with corn, cause corn is a one bad mother. Did you know, if we stopped subsidizing corn, the economy would go silent, son. That's a true fact. Because we were founded on the principles of corn. Them first Mayflower pilgrims, they wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for the generosity of these Native American folks who gave us what? Corn. That's right. A few things left. Corn grows on every continent on this green earth, except for Antarctica. We got a team of scientists right now working on that issue. There's hundreds of varieties of corn, all of them Indian corn. Did you know the farmers grow five times as much corn as they did in the 30s on 20% less land? I'll tell you why that is. It ain't no magic trick of science. It's just that the more corn you grow, the stronger it gets. The more corn you eat, the better off you are. True fact. Americans, we consume 
billion quarts of popcorn. You tell me we ain't figured out something about corn and being American. Because you ain't American if you don't eat that corn. Son, I implore you, for the love of God, eat that corn. Because if you don't, oh, I shudder to think. If you don't, there's going to be bad things happening to us. And you mark my words. Because without ethanol, corn syrup, corn flakes, corn cakes, we just might turn into some communists. By God, we're not going to let that happen. I'm going to sign off for now. Be sure to remember, each corn's.